Anyways, that's the trouble with improv. All right, girlfriend's breath stinks. Dear Billington the Red. Uh, I've been I've been seeing my girlfriend for a little over a year now. And if you can tell me your fucking breath has stunk the entire time, I'm really not going to have any sympathy for you. And I don't know how you fucking bring it. Well, the only way you bring it up now is if you act like it just started. Uh, I've been seeing my girlfriend for a little over a year now. We're very much in love and have a great time when we're around each other. However, in the past couple of months, I've noticed every so often her breath stinks. I'm not talking... She ate something bad, but some deep-seated stench that makes my eyebrow hair burn away. I noticed that her teeth have a certain yellow tint to them that is hard to look away from. It's like a film of American cheese. Oh, Jesus. Sorry for the grossness, but that's just the truth. It's not like she doesn't take care of herself. She's very beautiful and responsible. Anyway, she has health insurance, but not dental, and hasn't been to a dentist in three years. Well, take her. Take her, okay? Because she's starting to sound... Like a woman that lives in a tree in a fucking fable. Um, I think she might have some buildup of tartar or gum disease. Yeah, or something. She needs a deep cleaning to start with. And then they should, if that doesn't work, I would check for some sort of sinus infection. You know, if that doesn't work, uh, you know, I don't know. Consult a specialist rather than a comedian doing a podcast. <laughs> um we're going to move out together when I go to my new job, and I'm going to pay for dental insurance when I make mo the money because everyone should be able to see a dentist, especially as a girl's awesome of her. Until that day comes, I want to say something, but don't know how to say it. Obviously, I just can't say, honey, your mouth smells like shit. We're very open with each other all the time, but I can't get the balls to tell her to say this. Any suggestion from you or the lovely Nia would be appreciated. All right. Ah, oh, fuck. I got to get Nia in here for this one. Hang on. Hey, Nia. Nia? Nia! Can you help me on the podcast? I need you to help me answer a question because I can only think of a way to say it in a mean way. Are you not? Uh, I, I just, I don't understand. Shut up. Are you not capable of just pressing pause and coming to get me instead of screaming? No, I have shit to do. Like a crazy person? I have shit to do. What do you want? I'm watching something. All right. Here we go. This guy's girlfriend's breast stinks. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through it really quickly. Did you talk about how you ate garlic today? No, I didn't. Raw garlic. I ate raw, because I had a sore throat. I ate raw garlic and then you wash it down with milk. How gross is that? To gross. fucking, yeah, I know. What's the, uh, to somehow fix your sore throat. I don't know. Is it working? No, and I feel like I fucking ate a a, a lit cigarette. <laughs> um. Anyways, I'm just gonna say it real quick. Was the only one microphone. So, anyways. Her breath didn't stink, and now all of a sudden lately it's just stinking. She's, he's noticing a film across her teeth, kind of yellowish. She hasn't um, seen a dentist in like three years. How does, he, how does he say, listen, I love you, but your breath stinks. I want to pay for you to go to a dentist. I, I don't want you walking around the world. You know, you're going to get a nickname. Like, that's how bad your breath smells. <laughs> <laughs> does she not brush her teeth? No, she does, but she hasn't been to a dentist in a while. She says takes care she might have some tartar built up. The first thing you do is she go... She brushes her teeth every day and she still has all of this going on. No, we said there's a yellow film. Yeah, that means she's not brushing her teeth. Because why would there be a yellow film on her teeth if she brushed her teeth in the morning and then before she went to bed? Even if it's once a day. She needs to go see... How, do, how does he tell her... Mm. How does he get her to go to the dentist? Like, how, okay, okay, you know, how would you say it to me? How, no, how would you want me to say it to you if, that's, if that was going on? Ooh... See, mm. can I practice one? Uh, Let me practice one. We all know you're going to anyway, so just go ahead. Yes, go ahead. Hey, Nia. <laughs> no, no, you don't have to get up. You can sit right over there. Stay over there. Oh, my God. Um, I love you, but I, sometimes I like looking at you from across the room. <laughs> Listen, I'm only telling you this because I love you and I would want you to tell me this. Mm -hmm. It hasn't been, you know, the whole time I've been with you, but at some point in the last six weeks, like... You've had, like, moments, especially, like, actually right now, like, I don't know what's going on, but your breath really smells bad. <laughs> and I, I don't want to be near you. <laughs> and it kills me to tell you this, but your breath stinks. I think you need to go see a dentist. I know you don't have dental insurance, and I want to pay for it, okay? Because you're too beautiful to be walking around with that rotting smell in your mouth. Do you still love me? 
<laughs> I wouldn't be mad at that because I would I would stop if it were you saying that to me I would laugh at it and I would know that was coming from a good point. You'd be mortified. I would be mortified though. I would be really really embarrassed. But obviously, you know, if anyone's going to tell me, it's going to be the person that has to kiss you and be around you all the time. So yes. Well then, fix it. Fix what I just said. How 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 can he tell it where a lady wouldn't get pissed? I don't know. That's actually not too bad. I don't think. You know, just that's so hard. I don't. Hey, uh, shit mouth. Why don't you go see a fucking dentist before you kill the house plants? All right, go eat your pizza. Yeah, I mean, I think that's it. Just be really just brutally honest, but try to do it in a cute, funny way. You know, and just be like, yeah, oh, God, I, that would be so hard. Yeah, you're beautiful. You're too beautiful to be walking around because at least you're throwing in a compliment. Your body and face is a 10. Your mouth's a negative two. We got to get those numbers closer together. How are we going to do this? All right. Can you yeah, give me a favor? Can you give me a glass of water? My fucking, th- I ran out of water. My throat is killing me. You sound like, you sound terrible. I sound like this woman's breath. Um, all right. Good luck with that, sir. All right. Let's wrap this up. Um, <laughs> body weight exercises, spelt B-O-O-D-Y. Booty weight exercises. Willie Bonbon. Bon. Uh, I heard of the podcast last week. You like body weight exercise. Me too. Fucking love them. Last year, I found a great app with a shitload of great body weight routines. It's called, is this the one app that you invented? This might be free advertisement. I don't care. It's for working out. Uh, body weight training. You are your own gym. I think it's about $3, $3 and it's fan fucking tastic. It was developed by a Navy SEAL fitness trainer and it has four different 10-week programs for different fitness levels. All the workouts are short and will kick your ass in a good way, plus a bunch of other goodies. I can't re- recommend it highly enough, and I am not in any way feel affiliated with the app. It's just a great workout at a great price. No equipment needed, but I recommend picking up a pull-up bar you stick in your door frame for $20, $30 at Target or somewhere. I started using it back in September and in much better shape because, it, because of it. Fucking awesome, dude. Uh, while I'm at it, I also recommend a regular full body stretching routine. I've been doing that for months as well. And I'm as limber as a horse clam. That's what he wrote me. <laughs> a horse clam there. And for the ladies, I'm as bendable as a drunken louse's wick- whiskey dick there, kid. See that? He was trying to, he was trying to do one for the women. Like a like a noodle dick, you know. When there's no blood in the dick, he can bend. Right, it. Let me let me ask you: If he's talking about how great and how in shape he is, why would he ever compare himself to a limp dick? Women sucking the comedy out of everything for over a hundred years. Oh fuck off! All right, Here, take this. What is it? It's a fucking Ricola. Oh, Ricola. <laughs> <laughs> All right. By the way, in a recent study. I read about in health showed that two best the two best things you can do before bed to get a good night's sleep is stretch and visualize. Um, what are you jerking off after you fucking touch your toes? <laughs> I'm sorry, that's so fucking childish, and I love it. So I often stretch and then do a guided visual mental meditation from YouTube before bed. What? Doesn't mean you're watching a video. Do you think I took it to a weird place there? I didn't. These guided meditations are corny, but they're great. Super relaxing. Hope this is this info is useful to you and my fellow MMPC brothers and sisters. Be well. Um, you know something? I don't know. I think that makes a lot of sense. I might try that. Uh, you know what I used to do? You know, when I was doing the helicopter lessons, which I'm going back to my final six in March... Before I test for my license here, um, I was having problems with auto rotations, and I just sat there visualizing doing them, but not closing my eyes. I was just like miming it at the end of the bed, pretending I was in there. And the next day, I did them. I was much better. So maybe there's something to that. I have no idea. He said, uh, "Be well." Miniature version of animal, dear Bill. Okay, miniature version of animal. Here we go. I think this is the last one here. Um. If you could have a smaller version of a normally large animal, what would it be? Ideally, it would be trained and you'd have it as a pet. Signed, Weird Roommate. Well, it couldn't kill me. Um, I love animals too much to ever make a wild animal a pet. So, what would I have? 
I'd have a miniature version of my dog, Cleo. So even when it flipped out, when I dressed up like a drummer, I wouldn't have to worry about it killing me. That's a lame answer.